I hope I don't look like a fool. Dorime. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Vini, you can call me Vini. Here we talk about like fashion and lifestyle. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. We try to have a fun time over here and yeah, still feels very weird to ask people to subscribe. But anyways, today's gonna be kind of a different type of video. I usually do not challenges, but I usually do more laid back videos with maybe different settings or trying on different outfits. But today I thought, well, it's better to school season right now although I'm not able to go to school normally like I used to last year I know that a lot of you guys might be going back to school right now and your colleges or high schools are reopening and you're wondering well quarantine has passed and I've seen a lot of people develop their styles during quarantine but I didn't so I'm kind of here to help you a little bit I think I've seen a girl though this vintage aesthetic especially because of TikTok during the last six months and I know that a lot of people really want to have it. I was one of those people that had to branch out to find like pieces of clothing that would work that I would feel good wearing to achieve that style. So I'm here to give you a few tips on how to get the vintage aesthetic for back to school in 2020. Stay tuned because at the end of the video I'm gonna give you two tips that actually make all the others that much easier. The first thing you need to do is invest invest you're not really investing you're just buying clothes so buy classic brands crew necks and polo shirts so hear me out i wasn't really into crew necks or polo shirts at the end of last year i used to think that polos were really something for older people and i thought that crew necks were really too hot to wear where i live so i never really used to go for them but i feel like they really are staples of that vintage aesthetic style whatever you want to call it i would probably recommend you buy by crewnecks from brands like Nike, Adidas, Champion, Fila, Puma, Reebok. Try to buy crewnecks from those kind of athleisure brands and they really just match basically everything. And for polos, I would actually recommend you buy polos from Polo Ralph Lauren and Tommy Hilfiger. They're the most basic polo brands. The polos are really high quality, they last a lifetime and they are not that expensive, they're not that cheap either. But for tip number two, buy oversized Stop. I guess I'll wait for the car to stop ringing. Thank you. What I'm trying to say is, if you're wearing a small or a medium, try to go for the large or extra large. In the 80s and 90s, a lot of people used to wear really oversized clothing. Even in the 2000s, a lot of trends came with those oversized aesthetics. It's actually an aesthetic that came, I think, from black people. So they really shaped a lot of the trends that we have nowadays, but try on oversized clothing and see how it looks in your body. I was really scared to go for oversized stuff for some reason. When I was really young, I used to wear a lot of baggy pants, then I lost the weight and they became too baggy to look good. And I didn't know how to style them. So I kind of created this like bad energy around oversized stuff. Like I only wore skinny jeans for the past like five years but at the beginning of the year I started to branch out and look for clothes with a different kind of format a different kind of fit and I really changed my style completely like don't really mind my outfit right now I just finished shooting the last video on my channel and this is the outfit that I chose blindfolded for day five that video it actually went in a way that I really didn't expect but if you're interested you can click the link that's somewhere over here don't really take this as an example but really try on oversized stuff and see how it looks, how it fits, and if it works in your body because everybody has a different body. If it works in your body because everybody has a different, different body. Are you dumb? Not everything is gonna work for everyone. Still, it's worth a try. Okay, for tip three. Three. For tip three, staying in the same lane of like oversized clothing, pay attention to the pants, like really go for oversized pants. When I started wearing skinny jeans because it was like the trend of the 2010s, like everyone wore skinny jeans for the past, I don't know, seven years. My parents thought they were really strange because they were really used to the oversized and really like big baggy pants because that really comes from the style that they had when they were like teenagers or young adults. Since we're getting a lot of inspiration from those times, really 
really like go for oversized jeans. I am a size 30. Now when I buy new pairs of jeans, I always try to buy one size bigger and I always go for straight leg pants. Fashion in those times, they really went for high-waisted, really baggy, really like casual type of styles. So that really works when you're buying larger size jeans. You get what I mean? I don't really know if I make any sense. And you really can just like adjust it or wear a belt with it. So always try to go with straight leg pants that are one or two sizes bigger than your actual size. For tip number four, this is something that I actually didn't really think about until a year ago, but it's really important. And I used to see a lot of outfits on Instagram that I really liked, but I really didn't know how to put them together with my own clothing. And even though I sometimes had the clothing to make them, I just didn't know how to match things together. What I'm trying to say is learn how to layer. Tank tops under button-ups, polos under crew necks, hoodies under jackets. Try to understand which color combinations work and which like fits work with each other. Learn those things and, and that's really try and error. That's something that I don't think anyone can really teach you that well because it really depends on the body of the person. It really depends on what are the clothing that the person has. So really go out of your way to open your closet, try out a lot of things, layer stuff, and really try to find stuff that goes well together. That's like, it seems simple, but when you're really trying to achieve a certain look in your mind, you really get confused because you start to, to look at your clothing and you think that you don't have the clothing that you need for that type of style, but actually you kind of have, you just don't know how to style them. So just go for it, like really try out new stuff and maybe you find like outfits that you wouldn't expect and that's something that has happened to me a lot in the past few months. Really try it out, it really works. For tip number five, buy classic sneakers. This is something that I used to mess up a lot. I used to really buy really extravagant stuff that I wouldn't be able to wear on a day-to-day -day basis because I thought that if I bought the most extravagant, it would equal buying the most stylish but that doesn't really make sense and I did that with sneakers as well I bought like champion sneakers with the branding on the front I, w I really wanted to buy like chunky feel sneakers but I never really thought about how I would pair them with my my clothing so for the past like year I've been really trying to buy sneakers that go with a lot of outfits and that are not really gonna go out of style you know when you invest in shoes that could last for a long time like a Converse in which it never really goes out of style. It has never looked bad to me, at least to me. I, I don't think it... Are th those are the types of styles that really you should strive for. Really buy the essentials first and then go for the more extravagant after. I put a list on my computer of a few sneakers that you should probably invest in. It's great to say investing because it's just clothing, you're not really investing, you're not getting a return. So people say investing, it's just like when they buy Birkin because it goes up in value. But if you're buying like even a Jordan, like a normal Jordan one, you're not really investing in anything. But some of the classic sneakers that I would probably recommend recommend are Adidas Super Court, High Top Converse, Nike Air Force Ones, Nike Dunks, Nike Cortez, Nike Blazer Mids, Jordan 1s. Although they are in style right now, I don't think they ever look bad as well. So they're kind of like a Converse, like they never really go out of style. The Reebok Club C85s, they are really good looking shoes. They are very much on the 80s sort of style, but they are so basic and so like simple that they really go with everything. And if you're going for a more 90s look, you should probably invest in a Doc Martin. Think of other than Emma Chamberlain when I see a Doc Martin. I remember a Frost from Friends wearing a really like dark red Doc Martin. For the last sneaker recommendation, this one is kind of like a mixed bag. If you've seen other videos from my channel, you know that I'm not really that big of a fan of Vans. I think they are overrated. I wouldn't wear Vans but they really go with the 2000 skater boy type of style. So if you're interested in that, you really should think about buying a Vans. You do whatever you want with this information. I had to turn on the AC and close my window because there was a lot of noise outside. Moving on, for tip number six, and this one is gonna be a little bit controversial, copy influencer styles. If you're trying to develop a certain aesthetic and a certain style, see inspiration from other people, see what you like to see what you don't like. If you like an outfit from one of your influencers, try to recreate that. See what works from that outfit, see what looks good, what doesn't. At the end of the day, you're gonna end up with clothing that you enjoy because if you enjoy somebody's style, 
ones that probably means because you enjoy your clothing. So that was really not that smart of a phrase that I just said. Mm. Especially at the beginning. It doesn't really hurt anyone. Nobody's gonna know probably. And who gives a fuck? Clothing is not that serious. Style is not that serious. On this video, we're really focusing on vintage styles and fits. So I have a few influencers and a few actors and musicians that I think you should follow and really take inspiration from their style. For influencers, we have, to be honest, Byron. I don't know if it's the age Byron. He's a YouTuber as well. His style is really nice. If you like neutral tones and really like, like black and white, gray styles, like his outfits are really well layered. So he's a really great style inspiration. Um, we have, I think his name is Daniel, but his username is da.nl. He gives a lot of outfit inspirations. He has some really great pants, really nice style, really different. You would probably get some inspiration from him if you looked at his Instagram. We have Ewan Ward. Is that how you say that name? I'm, I, I'm sorry if you're saying your name wrong if, if you're watching this, which you're probably not. So if you really enjoy that, like Nike, Air Jordan, Dunks, if you really enjoy that Nike kind of sponsored style, his Instagram is really for you. His outfits are all of them are oversized and I think his style is really great. Also, Cameron Porras. His name is tricky for me because I'm Brazilian, so I speak Portuguese, so you can see what I'm talking about. But Cameron has really nice style, I think he's really popular on TikTok. I've seen his face in a lot of like aesthetic feature pages on Instagram. For celebrities, you should probably get inspiration from Harry Styles, Dylan Minette, and Tyler the Creator. I don't really follow that many feature pages on Instagram, but you should probably look at Unread. Read? Unread. Read? Un like the most stylish people are there. That's pretty much it for people you should look to for inspiration. And for the last two tips, learn how to thrift. Thrifting is really about like trial and error. Get out of your comfort zone. If you don't get out of your comfort zone, you're really not gonna change your style. There are a lot of videos on YouTube teaching you how to thrift. In my town, I don't really have the opportunity to thrift in person, so I do a lot of online thrifting. And you should do too, like please stay at home and buy online. I know that in the US and in Europe, Depop is really popular, but also there are a lot of independent thrift stores that have Instagram and you can simply buy from them. I really recommend that. Really understand the mindset behind thrifting, buying good stuff when you're not expecting it. That's really what thrifting is about and it's good for the environment, so it's a win-win situation. But And the other tip, this tip is actually something that I didn't really think about before I tried to change my style. Really go in your parents' closet and really look out for stuff that might fit your style. It's a lot of free stuff. For example, my father has a lot of photos and I don't really have a lot of photos because I really didn't like photos before three months ago, but I can really get the ones that he has and really style it in the way that I like. That's what I've been doing a lot recently. Okay, so what I've seen is that a lot of parents have like stopped evolving their style. As I said in another video, my father really hasn't changed his style ever since I was born, which was in 99, so ever since the 90s. That's pretty much it. Like, really Really steal from your parents. Not really. Don't do that. Kind of do that. Maybe not. But you kind of should. They kind of should. They kind of should. Overall, I think the most important thing is really going outside of your comfort zone and really trying out new things. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different style. I never really want to be the type of YouTuber that gives you advice and really tries to put you in a certain box. I feel like for men's fashion, especially in the YouTube community, we have a lot of like, oh, you should do this so people can respect you or like you should wear clothing that makes you feel comfortable and makes you feel your best self. I would never tell you to do stuff just to fit a certain ideal of beauty or a certain ideal of masculinity. I'm really just giving you my advice for if you're going for a certain style, what I think you should do and you can take that advice, you cannot take that advice, you can really think that advice is dumb but that's just from my experience. Everybody has different opinions, different tastes so and if you did enjoy this video make sure you subscribe click the like button turn on post notifications follow me on my other social media here are my instagram and tiktok i post a lot of my outfits and if you're interested in that you should probably give it a follow thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys at the end of this week for another video peace that was weird